Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, watchman on the wall for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who was and is and is to come. It's January 18th, 2015 at 1050 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'm out here in Northern California. The Lord has me sounding the alarm today to repent that the end of all things are at hand, to do not involve yourself in discord and folly in division, but look unto him, the author and finisher of your faith. He is not coming back into confusion. He's coming back looking for faith. He said, when I return, will I find any faith in the earth? I will not involve myself in the folly and the discord of unhealthy communication that is currently transpiring on YouTube. I simply will not. I will continue to do my job as called by my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There is something major about ready to break forth upon this earth that the devil does not want you noticing. He wants you distracted from I'm watching this video that the Lord had given me about Lebanon. As I began to pray about Lebanon, I was looking at the map that Lebanon is to the north of Israel, north, northeast, and west of Syria. And I was reading in the Twitter feed how Israel's IDF had just struck a, a convoy on the border and that Hezbollah will be ordering an emergency statement to be released tonight and what the headline had read that chaos is about ready to break out in the Middle East and I saw in the spirit as I was reading about this attack concerning Hezbollah, Israel, Syria and this entire region I, don't, uh, I saw a 737 I'm going to say that again it was a 737 it was a big commercial airliner and it was landing at Ben Gurion Airport. And I told my wife, I said, I think that flight came from Japan. And I began to research all of this. And I had up everything for a, a, a video that was 10 minutes long. And I had to pause it because I was looking for the, th that there was this massacre at this airport involving Japan in 1972. And, the, and the, everything just began, this alarm bell went off inside my spirit. My wife here will testify that I looked all over the internet for that airplane coming from Japan and landing at the Ben Gurion International Airport today in Israel and could not find any story or any reference or any link to it. I believe that this was a prophetic warning to anybody who has eyes to see and ears to hear that we are about ready to enter into great tribulation, that chaos is unfolding around the world, and that we are to stay anchored and rooted and grounded in Him and His Word and come together like never before in love as commanded to do by Jesus Christ to come together in love and begin to look up and not fight amongst each other, that we're not the enemy. Something major is about ready to break out in the Middle East involving Israel. And this is what we're to be watching right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I have sounded this alarm that everybody that is focused on the wrong distractions today needs to renew your mind. Creating me a clean heart and a, and a steadfast spirit and, and be focused on what it is you are to do and how you are to be acting, knowing that the end of all things is upon you, what it is that is required of you this day to be operating in it. Don't look to the left or to the right. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, let's come together. O come ye, O come ye, let's pray together as one in unity as required of us as servants of the cross. God bless you all. May he keep you. May we be found in peace and in faith upon his return. We are about ready to enter into great tribulation. I just heard uh, in the Holy Spirit, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope. I, I believe he's getting ready to leave the Philippines. Uh, I don't know why the Lord is putting in this on this spirit, so I'm putting this into the feed, the Pope. Uh, I'm just asking you, why is today so significant as we go into Martin Luther King Day tomorrow? Why is all this suddenly in my spirit of this impending chaos worldwide? I'm crying out to you, why? In closing, my wife, do you have anything to add? What are you sensing in your spirit? If nothing, that's okay too. Just I feel like a move of God is upon us right now. I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but just say whatever's ever on your mind. I'll hit stop and we'll upload it. Haven't done our job here. Um.
You're good. Okay. okay, thank you, everybody. That's the message. Pray that we're found in love. Pray that we're found in faith. Pray that we're found in unity. And look and watch the Pope's movement. Watch uh, President Obama's movement, who's been quiet lately. And, and watch Israel. They're surrounded. They're defending themselves. And something is about ready to break. And this world will never be the same. Minister Paul Watchman on the wall, sounding the alarm. Shalom.